Welcome back. Visit Orlando is trying to bring people back to the area, and they're using social media to do it. As Fox 35's Andrea Lyon reports, they're turning to influencers to help them do it. This property has a giant pool, splash pad, and lazy river. The girls were in heaven. Selfies, the sun. Got in one little bite of my mom got scared. I said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. And fun songs. It's day two of our Orlando vacation. But before we started our day, we had to stop by Scratch Market for some breakfast and a delicious vanilla latte. We love hanging out with our blogger friends, and then we were off to Icon Park. Diana, or Mrs. Blinks to Instagram, is an influencer. <laughs> Just one of 60 some influencers working with Visit Orlando. The touch tank is always a favorite. When you look at a year ago, obviously our industry was absolutely devastated. You saw plummeting numbers, whether it was hotel stays, visitation numbers, uh, air, you know, airlift certainly declined. The 52% overall drop in visitors during the pandemic means Visit Orlando CEO Cassandra Matei and her team are working in overdrive. We're actually inviting. Um, people to come back to Orlando because we're open and you can experience our destination very safely. Launching Orlando's first ad targeting out of state visitors for the first time since the beginning of COVID-19. The ad paying off $40 million brought in now being reinvested. The city plans on putting the money right back into its campaign to get more people back to the theme park capital of the world. It really was the most gorgeous day. A place this traveling mom. We've heard so many great things about Wonderworks and it did not disappoint. And influencer says she feels safe enough to explore. Our room was so clean and so spacious. Andrea Lyon, Fox 35 News.